Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create speech or thinking bubbles using PowerPoint. As most school service centers subscribe to Microsoft, using PowerPoint for different tasks is pretty handy. So first of all, I will choose an empty model of PowerPoint. So I'll open PowerPoint and choose an empty template. And what I want to do now is include the picture of the animal or character I want to use that will be thinking or talking. I can do so by clicking on insert and I have different options in image. I can take a picture that's already on my computer or a picture that's on the web. For my part, I will go look for a picture in a website called Pixabay, which contains all images free of right. I had chosen already my little dolphin, so I'll uh, copy paste my image right here. As you can see, I have chosen an image in which there is uh, enough space for me to put that thinking or speech bubble. I can also change the color of the background and put a different one. To create my speech or my thinking bubble, I can go and insert just like I did for images and click on shapes and I have different the speech bubble and thinking bubble available, made available to me. However, they're not my favorite, so I like to go on again Pixabay and try to find another one for my task. So there I will choose this one, I think. Copy, paste. So my little thinking bubbles right here. I can make it bigger if I wanted to. I can move it. There, he's thinking. Now I want to add text. So I want to add a text box to write what my dolphin is thinking. It's a nice day today. So once I've written my text, I can, I can choose another font, I can make it bigger, make it smaller, turn it a, a, around a bit, and move it to make it fit in the text. So I'll put it a little bigger. There you go. So once it's done, it can be saved on your device and sent to the teacher through Classroom or Microsoft. I hope it helps.